بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد ماجد ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی دی ویری امپارٹینٹ گوز از لا دس ٹاپک از آن پیج نمبر ٹوینٹی ون دی آرٹیکل نمبر از الیون پوائنٹ فائیو سو گاز از لا وٹ وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ ان اوور پریویس لیکچرز that was the coulomb's law that was the second topic of your course so gauss's law it is basically the another form of the coulomb's law so what we have studied if you remember we studied the coulomb's law and that was for the point charges that is f is equal to k q1 q2 divided by r square that was the mathematical relationship for the coulomb's law so gauss's law uh, that is another form of the coulomb's law uh, that is very important law and which is uh, later on we will study the maxwell equation and gauss's law is one of them maxwell equation contain four very important relation that form the basis of the classical electrodynamics and gauss's law is uh, one of them so gauss's was let me write it gauss's law gauss's was a german mathematician and scientist and this law was published around 1867 and what does gauss's law says for example you have a box and there is a charge inside this box so gauss's law says that i can tell you how much charge is inside this box without checking the box or without seeing the charge gauss's law tells you the magnitude of charge what type of charge is here in this box just by knowing the electric field lines so gauss's law is a basic relationship between the electric field intensity that is flux with the charge so it's related the electric field intensity or flux gauss's law it is the relationship it is the relationship between electric flux and charge enclosed in any surface in a surface so that is the relationship between electric flux humne padha tha what is electric flux you know that is represented by pi and that was equal to we have studied this one electric flux that is equal to e dot a clear in our previous lecture we have studied in detail the electric flux that is related with the electric field lines in the aerial vector so gauss's law gives you the relationship between the electric flux and charge enclosed in a surface later on we will study the application of the gauss's law so let me write the statement of the gauss's law what is the main statement of the gauss's law so let me write the statement what does gauss's law tells you statement this law states that this law stated that the electric flux through any closed surface through any closed surface is equal to one over epsilon naught times in case of free space one over epsilon naught times the total the total charge enclosed 
by that surface. Electric flux के दरमियान relationship है और total charge enclosed by a surface. So what does Gauss's law uh, tells you? अगर आपके पास जो electric flux है, that is equal to one over epsilon naught times means uh, total charge divided by the permittivity. Simple. You can also write this thing as electric flux through any closed surface is equal to total charge divided by the permittivity in case of free space we have the permittivity epsilon naught so mathematically let me write this equation mathematically you know electric flux is represented by this symbol so the net flux total flux this is equal to 1 over epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by that surface. The total charge. So if Q is the total charge, then if Q is the total charge, then this net flux, this is equal to total charge is Q, pi divided by epsilon naught. That is the mathematical form of the Gauss's law that will add the electric flux which is equal to E dot A with the Q by epsilon naught. So let us prove this, proof of the Gauss's law, let us prove this statement that flux is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Proof is very simple, you can prove it very easily. Uh, let prove this equation. Prove. In order to prove this, uh, we consider uh, a closed surface that is in the form of a uh, sphere. Like you have a closed surface, and this closed surface it is in the form of the sphere, just like the football or just like the ball. That is a sphere shape of radius r and let a charge q a total total charge q that is at the center of this pair you have a closed surface and there is a charge q at the center of the pair so what we have studied before this aapne agar pada ho electric flux detail mein humne wahan pe pada tha how to find the electric flux around a closed surface agar aapke paas ek charge kyu hai aur closed surface ke andar hai to hum electric flux kis tarah find out karenge detail mein humne pada tha we will use the same techniques here so you have a sphere this charge radius r so in order to find out the electric flux through this whole surface, we divide the whole surface into very small patches, into very small regions having that uh, area, for example, that this area is delta A1, this is delta A2, and this is delta A3, and so on. So we divide the whole surface into small differential area and the electric field intensity that we consider the electric field intensity remain the same uh, through all these small patches. So you have area direction is always along the normal. So you have electric field intensity for a positive charge it is in outward direction the electric field lines are so the field lines are in outward direction so the electric flux you write the detail by yourself consider a closed surface in the form of sphere of radius r and we divide the whole surface into small patches so detail uh, you can also write from the book it's on page number uh, 21 so let me write the equation we have write the electric flux हमने ये पढ़ा था, the electric flux through a closed surface is. We know this equation, the net electric flux or the total electric flux that is equal to summation into E dot del a if you remember 
we've already written this one so let for example this is i equal to 1 to n so you have area a1 a2 and so on that we consider the simple case that the electric field intensity is constant through all these surfaces so it is e and the angle between the aerial vector a and the electric field intensity e that is let for example zero degree so you know this is e del a cos of theta in cos theta let you, you put the zero degree then cos zero is one so what we get we get this net flux that is equal to let summation e delta a you consider the theta remember equal to zero degree so this is summation i equal to one to n del i clear this is that constant so bring them up bring it out so this summation into delta a now this is the net flux now this electric field intensity at any point r you know the electric field intensity due to a point charge we have derived it by using the coulomb's law so you know this equation for this e this equation kaam pata hai so that is if you remember net flux that is equal to you know this e this is 1 over 4 phi epsilon naught q by r square r is this radius you are want to find out the electric field intensity and q is the charge enclosed in this surface and this is the total area summation over the area and that we have considered it in the form of the sphere so you know the surface area of the sphere that is equal to 4 pi r square you know this thing so you cancel this r square with this r square and this 4 phi with this one and what we get we get the very important relation of the gauges that is pi net is equal to q by epsilon naught so that is the very simple proof of the gauges law that electric flux that is equal to 1 over epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by that surface or in any surface you have charge q you divide this by the permittivity and you get the required electric flux if you know the electric flux then again you can know about the charge clear so that's very important relation it's a relation between the flux and the charge what does if you see uh, this this what does this loss shows uh, it's ye jo equation hai, what does this shows this equation shows that the electric flux only depend on the charge and on the uh, permissivity medium aap kaun sa medium use kar rahe hain and it does not uh, depend on the simple uh, gauge's law it does not uh, depends on the shape or symmetry of the closed surface Cup closed surface kaun sa le hai for example we have considered the sphere so this equation shows nothing with the shape or symmetry of the closed surface so gauge's law is q by epsilon naught remember one thing conceptually this is the more general form of the coulomb's law gauge's law jo hai, uh, because uh, generally aap yaad rakhe, the coulomb's law was for the point charges stationary point charges and you can apply the gauge's law to the charges in motion so that is the more general law as compared to the coulomb's law in our next class we will do the gauge's law for the end point charges so that is for today. Okay, bye.